Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey and today we're going to work on the Simply Shaw, another free pattern available by Yarnspirations.com. So let's uh, begin today and decipher this pattern. This is a really easy shawl. You can see it's got some beautiful um, spray work at the end with some beautiful shells and this area in the middle is so simple it's not even funny. So without further ado let's break down this pattern together. You'll need four balls of Karen Simply Soft yarn to play today and a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook. So before running this tutorial I've made the full sample here without the border so I'm gonna do the border with you live on camera but I've done all the leg work as far as this main section that is, is consisting of 99 rows. So what we have here is that when we go to look at it we have the sprays Okay, there are shell work and then three double crochet and then a shell and then three double crochets. So this is gonna take you a little bit of time in order to make this. This is quite a long sample. It's 68 inches. Uh, well about 68 inches uh, with the border. So it's quite a long sample that you're here but it's not a complicated pattern. So if you're looking at the diagram format of this what happens is that you just chain up three and then the three, uh, two more double crochets in the next two and then uh, a shell. So skipping two and then go to the middle do a shell skipping two three double crochets and and you do that all the way across just like this. When you go then up to the next row just chain up three which counts as a double crochet, double crochets in the others and then you put the next shell in the middle one of the shell below and then you keep building on that as you go and that's the whole panel just like you see here. So we have to do a certain amount of rows of this and the very last row is slightly different and uh, there's gonna be some single crochets uh, starting us off. So I'm gonna show you a smaller example just like here and then I'm gonna take you to the border here where I have done my sample here here and I'll show you how I apply a border to this here. So you can see it's actually really quite a beautiful thing because the luster of the quality of the yarn by Karen Simply Soft you'll see that it will work up quite beautifully and it will drape magnificently as well. So without further ado let's grab some yarn. Let's uh, teach you how to do this pattern and then let's do the border together. For demonstration purposes I'm just gonna use a different color here and then I'm gonna take it to the border on the real sample because I'm just gonna get you started here because this is such a long panel to do. So what you have here is that you're just gonna start off with a slip knot and you're using Karen Simply Soft yarn and a five millimeter size H crochet hook. You wanna chain a total of 68 in order to get this complete. So you'll wanna do that and so what you just have to do is just chain. So one, two, three, four, and five and go all the way to 68 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. So now that you have your chain 68 you're going to now move across your chain and do your first one. So second chain from the hook so just count back so one and two turn it over and get the back loop only of the chain and I want you to single crochet yourself all the way back across your chain. For tutorial purposes my sample on screen is gonna be a lot smaller than your sample and uh, because I've already done the, the homework in order to get the full sample done. So just single crochet all the way back across your chain and meet me back here in just a moment. So this is the end of row number one and this is so important because you have to do so many counts. Okay so this is row number one when you're counting later on. So we're gonna begin now all the next rows will always be the same but what we have to do is get it started first before we can consider that. So we're gonna chain up three which counts as a double crochet and we're gonna double crochet into the next two stitches that you see. We're just establishing this pattern now so that we can stack all the rest of this stitches on top of each other without any issues at all. So now you have a total of what appears to be three which is right. Skip two and go to the third and put in five double crochets into that third one over. This will create a shell for you. Okay so once your shell is in then what you're just gonna do is skip two, go to the third and then this one plus two more will then be your three double crochets in a row again. Okay so it appears that you have a shell and then three double crochets and you're gonna continue that same idea going all the way across. So to begin again you are just going to um, just skip two, one and two, go to the third and do a shell which is five double crochet. And then you're going to skip two, one and two and the final three that you'll end up on this once you get all the way to the other side will just be one double crochet each. So this is considered row number two. 
which is so important. So let me show you how to do row number three which is the repeat all the way to the top and then we're gonna uh, meet you at the top at that point. So turning our work and let's do row number three. So row number three is exactly what you just did but the only difference is is that you're gonna work in the middle of the shell work. Okay, so let's uh, chain up three. So one, two, three and where you see double crochets in the rows below it'll be double crochet again. So just right over top the next stitch is a double crochet and it's friend right next door. So here's your shell. You're going to go to the middle one of the shell and put another five double crochets in to keep those shells building on top of each other. Okay, so then once you get that done then you just jump over and see your next group of three double crochets right there. Okay, you're just gonna put in one double crochet each. So these shells just build on top of each other. I know it's hard to see it in that model sample but it's really quite beautiful and really quite easy once you get the hang of this pattern. So here's another shell. So continuing all the way across you just go to the middle of that shell and put in another five double crochets. And then continue along all the way to the other side and once you get there you'll notice that you'll end up with your three double crochets that will sit by itself. So skipping all the rest of it go to the three double crochets and put in one double crochet each. Just like that. So what I want you to do is that we have to complete so many rows. So right now we are in row number three. You have to go to all the way to row number 98. Okay, so you have one, two, three. Go all the way to row number 98 using this last stitch one that you just did. Okay, the last stitch instructions go all the way to 98 and then what we're gonna do then is that we're gonna turn our work and then we're on row number 99. Okay, I'll might as well do it here. So you're just gonna chain up one row number 99 and then you're just gonna single crochet yourself all the way across. And this will bring balance to this panel at the end. So you're just gonna single crochet all the way and what I'm gonna do then is that I'm gonna take you then to the actual sample that I'm working on and I'm gonna show you how to do the three rounds that complete the border for this entire project. So the very 99th one you're just going to single crochet. Do not fasten off just keep your work on there and uh, we're going to then move across and then all the way around in three revolutions in order to complete that beautiful shawl that you see. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way across with single crochet. So when I come back I'll pull back my sample that I'm working on and we'll begin starting to the border at that point. So welcome to the border portion. I just came across and I single crocheted like I just showed you here on the real sample and then what I'm gonna do now is turn my work and we're going to begin the first round of the border. So turn around this. We're gonna go along the short edge first and then we're gonna work our way down the side like so do the other uh, bottom edge and then work our way back up into a complete revolution. So without further ado let's begin the first round. So let's begin our first revolution as we go all the way around. So we're going to start up and I'm going to get you started on this on the side edge and then I'm gonna jump over then to the next uh, side and then we're going to then move along down to the bottom and then back up the other side. So to begin all we just need to do is that we need to chain up one and one single crochet into the very first one. Now there's an inconsistency of numbers that exists on these edges. So it, on the short edges where the shells are facing up then there's a difference of stitch counts and there will be at the other side at the same time and the ones that are on the side are all consistent. Now they've done that on purpose because of the beautiful spray work. So here's how it works. You're going to chain two. So one and two and you're only gonna skip one stitch the first time and you'll see this in the written instructions as well and then you're gonna carry on. So here's the repeat pattern that you have to worry about. You're gonna chain two. So they're all gonna have chain twos anyway but the, what we're gonna do this time is that we're gonna skip two um, stitches and then we're going to chain two, skip two stitches again, one and two and go to the third. Okay. And then this time we're gonna chain two and only skip one stitch. So skip one only and go to the next. So that's your repeat pattern going across this edge plus the opposite side at the bottom. So here we go again. So let's try it again. So chain two. You're gonna skip two stitches. One and two. Go to the third. Chain two. Skip two more stitches. One and two. Go to the third. And single crochet. And then finally chain two. Skip only one stitch and then go to the next. 
I'm gonna do that one more time for you. So that's your repeat pattern. So chain two, skip the next two, one and two, chain two, skip the next two and single in and then chain two and skip only one and then single crochet into the next. Please do that all the way along this edge. So as you get all the way to the other side there should be a total of 25 of these chain two spaces going all the way around or, or sorry all the way across this edge and now we're gonna turn and go down the opposite side. So these are down the side of the rows. To begin this it's all very simple. This time is one and two. So chain up two and then go into the first side of post. Okay, here of the row and single crochet and then chain two and then go to the next one. So just pull it up and just go into the side and you're gonna do that all the way across. So chain two and pull up the next one and just go into the side. Please do that all the way for this edge. So as you come all the way down then you're going across the rows on the side and now you're back to here and you're about to come on to the first layer here. So chain up two first and then go to your first single crochet that is right at the very start of your row. So now you're gonna continue like you did before but on this side and it's the same counts as you did before. So it's chain up two, okay, skip one and single crochet into the next and then chain two, skip two, so one and two go to the third and single crochet, chain two and then skip two, go to the third and then the repeat pattern starts again. So chain two, skip one. Okay, so it's just skip one and like that. Okay, so let's just review that one more time. So you ch uh, skipped over two, skipped over two, skip one. So try it again. So chain two, skip two, one and two, go to the third. Okay, chain two, skip two, go to the third and then finally chain two and skip one, go to the, th uh, sorry, skip one, go to the second. So do that same thing all the way across. There should be 25 of these um, going all the way from the uh, 25 of these chain two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and you'll have a total of 25 of those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave then the other side for you. So do the same thing. So chain two after you get to the end and then come down and do your sides like you had already made before and I'll see you at the end of this round. So now I'm coming all the way back around and this is where it started right on this corner here and I've chained two and I'm coming into the side of the last one here in the row and to complete this round chain up two and slip stitch to the beginning single crochet that you'd started with just like that. So now we're gonna go around again doing row number two and now the hard work's really done with all this extra counting in order to get it uh, because the counting's kind of off balance that you might feel that it is but now it becomes a lot easier from this point forward. There's just gonna be a little bit a lot more work. I guess a lot more work when it comes to making those shells but that's what makes this uh, particular shell so desirable. So let's move on to round number two of doing the border. So in round number two of the border there's going to be some large shells and then there's gonna be some spacing that separates them and you're gonna go all the way around. Okay, so even if you hit the corner when you're just following these chain two spaces even if it turns a corner it doesn't matter that's still a chain two and you just follow it all the way around. It's actually really quite an easy pattern to be able to, to manage. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna slip stitch into the first chain two space. We're in the single crochet right now but we're gonna slip stitch to the first chain two to put us into that space and now we're gonna do the first starting of the shells. So we're gonna chain six which counts as one double treble and chain one. So let's just do it. So one, two, three, four, five. That's your double treble and six is your chain one. So now we're gonna do double treble uh, into this particular um, stitch um, five more times but we're gonna make sure they're, they're separated with a chain one first. That's why you've done a double treble plus a chain one right here. So you gotta wrap that hook three times for a double treble and then what we're gonna do is just go right into that same chain two space and pull through and then keep pulling through two, pull through two, two and two and then what you're gonna do is chain one and do another treble. So there's a total count of six of these trebles or double trebles that are inside. So wrap that hook three times going into the same space, pull through, pull through two, 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 two and then chain one and do it again. So wrapping three times. So this border is gonna be really quite lush and lovely and then chain one. Okay, so you have a total of four double trebles that you can see so far. So let's wrap again three times and do another double treble. 
chain one and do it again. So you should be able to count a total of six of these double trebles. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And before you finish with this shell, then what you have to do is chain one first. So now you're gonna come back down to earth here and come back down to the border. Skip the next chain two space and go to the third one over and single crochet in to that space. Okay, so that'll pull it around. So now we're gonna continue along the side, or sorry, along the edge. So we're gonna chain one first. You're gonna skip the next chain two space and go to the, the next one after that. And you're gonna do your double trebles. So you're gonna do a total of six of them that are separated by those chain ones. So there's one treble, double treble, chain one. And you keep doing that. Okay, so chain one after each one. When you do these double trebles, just as easier to remember to do it right away. And you're doing it all within that same space and you're looking for that magic count of six that exists. So you can currently see four. So chain one. Okay, and do it again. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you chain one after it. So you come back down to earth here on the border. Skip the next chain one, or chain two space and go to the next one after that and single crochet in. And then chain one. Skip the next chain two space and go to the second one over and begin the double treble. I want you to do that all the way around. It doesn't matter if it's even turning around on a corner. It doesn't matter. You just continue to go in the same fashion and all of your stitch counts should uh, work out as you're going all the way around on this. So I, I'll see you at the end of this round and then uh, what we'll do is then we'll do the final border, uh, the final border um, round which is a little bit of work but it's what gives it the, the magnificent work that you see that the model is wearing. So without further ado, let me uh, get you to the end of this and I'll see you at the end and we'll uh, continue and do that last bit together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one. Skip the next chain two space, go to the second over and single crochet, chain one and begin that all over again. So this is what it will look like once you have it all uh, put together and then we're gonna come back and do a final border. I'll see you in just a bit. So I've now come all the way back around and I slip stitch to the top here of the chain five. There was chain six, remember I did to the fifth one in order to keep the shells looking good. So now it's the final revolution, it's round number three. So our first part, spot that we have to do is that we have to slip stitch the first chain one space. So slip stitch over first, then chain one and then single crochet into that same chain one space. Just like that. So now we're gonna create a pico. So a pico is P-O, sorry, P-I-C-O-T. It's called pico and you're gonna chain three. So watch how you do it. So one, two and three and slip your hook into, see these two strings right here? Just slip in behind, okay? So go right through, yarn over, pull through and through. And that's a pico and it's gonna create this little nubbly thing that's gonna be on the edge of your shells. So immediately jump to the next chain one space and single crochet first and then another pico. So it's chain three, one, two and three and then slide into that same space that I just showed you before. And then yarning over and through. And then go to the next chain one space and the reason why I'm showing you all these is that you have to do something in between. So single crochet first and then one, two and three and then pico it. So go into that same space Pull through and through. Okay, go to the next one. So single, one, two and three and slide in. Pull through and through. And then do your last one here. So this is the last post here of this one here coming out. So do the very last one first. So single crochet and then chaining of, of uh, one, two and three and then just slide in. So that's your last pico. So now what you're gonna do is now you're gonna single crochet yourself the remaining until you get over here. So you're gonna go into this, chain one space here, single crochet right here. Then you're gonna go into this next one right here. Okay, you're gonna go into that next one right here and single crochet. And then you're gonna go into this next space and single crochet and that's where your pico will start once again. 
Okay, so let's just follow this up a little closer. Sorry, uh, quickly. So chain three, it's your pico, and then you move to the next one. So the picots take a little bit of getting used to if you've never done it before. So single crochet, chain three, and slide in. And it does that beautiful look that you have on this. So move to the next one, single crochet, chain three, and go into the next one. And I'm showing you this twice so I can show you what happens in between one more time. Then come to the last one here. One, two, three. So watch where we're gonna single crochet. So just pull them apart, okay. So you see this space and this space. So you got a single crochet into that space right here. Then go into the other side here, single crochet and then single crochet. So you got your second one in, the third one is right here, okay. So it's right in that first chain one space and you're gonna single crochet in and you wanna make sure that you got that in and then you do your pico. So it told you in the instructions if you're following along it says that you're single crocheting three in a row and then pico. So it's not three empty single crochet by itself without a pico it's one two the third is the beginning of the of the first pico. So you just gotta watch for that in order to have that make sense for you and then you just keep on moving across just like this. So you're just gonna move all the way around using the same technique and then when you get done just fasten off and your particular shot is done. So this is Mikey on behalf of yarnspiration.com I'm gonna keep working on this off camera so that I can uh, get it done for a photo shoot and then I'm gonna toss it in my Yarnspirations uh, charity bin uh, where my samples go in order to donate it to charity. So until next time have a great day and we'll see you again real soon and thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you. Bye bye.